Hey guys, it's John again. Um, right, one or two. A um, couple of things I've um, I've got really cheap on um, eBay. Uh, put in a bid, and uh, there's something there from Amazon anyway. Um, but yeah, put in the bid on eBay and. Um, was uh, quite shocked that I actually the first bid I managed to win it so uh, <laughs> and then um, I've been doing the Facebook thing as well as a page on Facebook uh, that I know me and Scott do um, uh, and then I put my other mate who lives in Guernsey onto it and he's been uh, he's been having a few tries at um, winning some stuff so um, and that's uh, Ian my um, mate that has oh, been such a great guy to me lately um, gave me um, all of those records um, that you saw in the a couple of videos ago um, um, I got two guitars out of him which I will, I've forgotten to do a video on actually I've got um, this electric acoustic down here I've got an electric up there uh, an old style 60s style guitar um i think it's 60s um i haven't found out much information on it yet um so i got those um i had a marshall amp which is uh, i'm going to show you with the guitars um and i had that con funny musical contraption from him which i bought off of him um i gave him some money for the the records in the end i thought no i'm not i don't want to take things for nothing so he was pleased and um I'm currently sorting out records to do a um, maybe a car boot sale or something like that uh, but we'll see um, I'm pulling loads out um, nothing you guys will be into um, well I hope not <laughs> but um, there might be some things there but I just I need to I haven't got a huge amount of room in where I live so I've got to sort of um, condense my records down slightly because at the moment they're jam packed in some of the um, things and I want to make them so there's a bit more space so uh, right let's get on with this um, if I leave I'm just trying to think what I can't do a video on everything today Bloody waste and recycling rubbish. Come through my door. Right. Um, ah. Oh, what's this? The Liza of all things vinyl. That is a VCLT for sure. But I'm not going to open that one yet. Um, it just says the Liza of all things vinyl. I'm going to do that as a separate video. What else sir? Sender. Um, I'm going to open this one. Because uh, this one's not been sent very well. Um, it's a padded envelope, but there's some CDs in here for sure. And they're not um, very well protected. I hope it's not um, <laughs> someone on the VC. Right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, 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 I ordered these from the same person on eBay and I got them really cheap. Um, <laughs> this is, I'll, t I'll let you know how, much, how cheap I got them. Right, this one, the first one, Little Angels, right? This is, I think, their first album called Young Gods from 91. I think it is their first album. If it's not, let me know. Um, it's got Boneyard on there. Um, what the, that's about the only song I know on there properly. Oh, and Young Guards. Um, I've got a best of, and I've obviously there was a song called Womankind that came out as a single. I bought that as a CD single way back when it came out. Um, I still have. I know my original copy copy got damaged. 
So I picked up a, sec uh, a good copy, a perfect copy. Uh, and I do have one of their um, best ofs. Um, but this was on for £1.99. And it was marked down as light new. Okay. And um, it's looking pretty good at the moment. Let's just check the uh, disc. 1991 Polydor. And yet the disc is 99% like new. So 199. Um, I want to check back if the seller charged me for two lots of postage. Um, so I'll be doing that in a minute because I bought these things separately. So um, I'd like to ask him back for some of the postage. And then the real bargain, unfortunately the case has got cracked now because it's haven't been wrapped up very well. Um, this one was 99 pence I got it for. Um, I know a few of you guys out there be like, oh my God, that was a bargain. Slip of the tongue, white snake. 99 pence. Yes, I do have it. This was classed as excellent plus, I think. Um, to be in per um, perfect and uh, yes it is 99 pence for white snake slip of the tongue the postage was £1.99 and that's all I paid for that um, I actually feel a bit um, mean going back and asking the person for a bit of the postage back so I might not because I put, I pay one ninety nine postage for that and one ninety nine for that, so um, and I think the postage was one pound forty. So yeah, I did get, I got charged nearly four quid postage, but to be, I, I probably will try it. <laughs> Bit of a stingy, but yeah, unfortunately that got cracked because not packed very well. But there you go, there are some real bargains. On eBay at the moment um, they don't pop up all the time but on that occasion they did so um, oh I'm just gonna pause my video and show you what I got from my mate the other day right um, yeah the other day my mate came around and said I got I got you some singles seven inch and um, They've got no covers though, they're just the singles with um, plain covers. Um, both the Priest, Judas Priest. So, um, this one, Take On The World, uh, with Star Breaker on the other side. Um, I couldn't remember if I had these, I, I'm sure I have, but having so many records I keep forgetting. Uh, and then I got um, Living After Midnight. There. with uh, delivering the goods on the other side and has its CBS outer sleeve as well um, so I had those I swapped them actually for Dukes of Hazard theme Waylon Jennings that he was really he was after so much and I said look just take that single and it was a picture sleeve so um, he was chuffed to bits I was chuffed to bits because he's not into heavy metal so so good trade there and then um, he said to me John have you got their CD um, and uh, it was I'm sure he was trying to get some money out of me right for this and then I reminded him that he owed me 10 quid for, for some um, meatloaf CDs that I gave him and then he shut up <laughs> but this one um, I couldn't remember if I had it in my collection this just shows how bad it is when you start getting old, older, and then you start having a collection that even you can't remember what you've got. Um, or maybe it's just my memory that's really bad. Um, which is which is uh, uh, part of the uh, the issue. Um, but when I got this one and I thought, oh, 
I haven't got this one anyway. Even if I've got the standard edition, I haven't got this one. This one's got a bonus track. It is Twisted Sisters um, Come Out and Play. Um, contains bonus track. Uh, there's the CD. The CD is as brand spanking new because I've had a look. I'll show you. Um, I think the um, bonus track is um, a song called King of Fools. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. There's 11 tracks on here. Uh, I do have this twice on LP. Um, what is the bonus track? I think it's King of Fools. They would have put that at the end, eh? This is a 1985 original CD. It's on Atlantic. And this is the... Uh, this is actually the German pressing, but yeah, um, very, very cool, well chuffed with that, and I couldn't remember if I had it, so, I didn't swap that one, I said to him, keep the um, meatloaf stuff, and I'll just have that, so that was a fair trade, because I really am not listening to meatloaf, I'm fed up with that rubbish, so, um, so yeah, um, shall we? Uh, shall I open something else? Um, here we go. Right, that one. I think from in vain. Uh, and that one, I have no idea. Right, these are eBay ones, right? Um, or should I do? No, I'm going to do. I'm going to do the Amazon one um i think i'm if an anamon now or should i do it as a different video uh nah bugger it ebay here we go <clears throat> right i don't want my video to be too long let's do this one this one is from this one's come all the way from Durham. Durham. Uh, Claire Kitson. I think. That might not even be right. I don't know. Apparently, yeah. I'm, 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 mum, the, 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 mumbling on here. <laughs> Bloody bonkers. Make sure I pulled out some sharp scissors today. Well, at least it's got plenty of cardboard around it. Let's just hope the record's all right. Or whatever. Oh, yes. Yes. Cool. Um... I can't show this one. <laughs> this one's for a different video. So I'm going to open the other one. Right, the other. <laughs> oh. So this one. I wish they'd come. Uh... I wish they'd come at different on different days now. Oh bloody hell. What a nightmare this package is opening. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to... Right. Finally, after about five minutes to try and open one of these packages with loads of tape on, um, I've managed to open it. Um, they've packed it very well. This is from some place in... some S. Gwenlin in the United Kingdom. Um, right, these packages, right, some of them are so bloody hard to open. Oh, I thought I'd opened it. Right, here we go. They packed it well, let's put it that way. Right, um, 
and they put stiffeners around it and all sorts and the, the card oh yes 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 mmm I think this person's charged me um, double the postage as well right um, these were bargains as well these were um, I couldn't believe my luck these were a couple of quid I think or two pound ninety nine or something, right? And I was just like, hopefully they're perfect. Um, but yeah, this one is some absolutely awesome band, right? Um, so people should check out this band, and it is Great White. Uh, this is the twelve inch single Congo Square. Uh, it's got South Bay Cities uh, and House of Broken Love live. This is quite a thick, this is a giant poster bag. This, uh, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show it. Don't you worry. So. So there you go. Giant poster. It's not, it's not as big as the extreme one I showed, uh, the other week. Quite as big. Um, so yeah, and then the vinyl was in a white sleeve, and there's the vinyl, and you know what, right, that is, uh, it's got a, co it's got a mark, a slight light mark going around there, but other than that, for two pounds something, eh, right, that is, uh, pretty damn cool. There's Congo Square, that side. Absolutely amazing. Um, I'm well chuffed with that. That is pretty damn cool. And then I got, there's another one from the same person. Um, they've certainly wrapped it up well and they've given me some plas plastic sleeve as well. Right. This one's a picture disc. Now this picture disc was... I think it was about four pound I paid, right? And I thought I would have paid that. I would have paid more than that any day if I'd seen it in the shop over here. Uh, I love this band from Scotland. Um, so um, keep watching Scott, the Rock Scout. And it is a 12 inch picture disc of Guns, Welcome to the Real World. It's got Standing in the Shadow which is track two, and Steal Your Fire Live, track three. There you go. Absolutely awesome. And uh, let's get the picture disc out. Absolutely love this. And you know what? It's, it looks like it's never been played. It is absolutely mint. That is just awesome. I'm chuffed to bits with that. That is just so damn cool. <laughs> As Ugly Kid Joe would say. Um, yeah, so damn cool. Uh, right. <laughs> right. I'm going to do my Amazon one in the next video. And then I'm going to do... Um, I've got something for... for uh, part two of my record store day. And then I've got um, a VCLT video to do as well. So I better move my backside, eh? So cheers. See you later.